Hi there and welcome back dear friends and deep thinkers to Portugal and our great king Guyen Eves of Portugal. Or you seen he's a complex character. His main problem is he cannot lose his stress. And um, that's something we will try to somehow alleviate with the court we have. Because look at that. I mean, there's fashion, right? Fashion doesn't help with stress. So, but there's food. As you can see here, the feast activity, not for us, but it reduces more stress and disease resistance goes up, which also helps. And generally, guests and courtiers have more stress loss. So, we'll get exotic food. Then we have very few servants. That doesn't make a lot of difference, right? It's only scheme resistance. Yeah, it can be very helpful. But our main problem is stress. So what we can go for is we can go for better lodgings. Mm. And sometimes courtiers and guests and sometimes also yourself. There are things uh, can get a little bit more stress loss. So mm. we'll get that. And we'll just hope it will have it will have something, some kind of effect. I mean at least we're getting we're getting a little bit better there. And then um we can create a duchy here, but we'll not do that. Um I have installed a mod that doesn't change the gameplay, it changes a little bit of information that is only relevant to roleplay. It's called, in my humble opinion, and it shows us, like you can see here, again, just like normal, the opinion of the other characters of you, and the small number next to that is our opinion of that character. And that is relevant because, I mean, he wants to found an empire. That's some kind of thing for him as a brilliant strategist. For that, he needs he needs some more lands. It's just like that. And so <clears throat> there's the question, should he attack maybe his brothers, his half brothers, mind you? Um, and the answer to that is probably yes, but um, he quite likes, he quite likes his, his half brother here. I mean, he's also a title claimant. Uh, he kind of likes King Adolfonso. But he doesn't really like much King Rodrigo, <clears throat> mostly because he's an albino. Weirdly, because albino is our preferred congenital trait for for the dynasty. So if we're up against someone, it should be it should be our brother who has the kingdom of Andalusia. It's a smaller realm. So um, the thing is, he has no allies, <laughs> and. We could grab all of that. It would be so easy. And the thing is, I think he will still keep the Duchy of Marrakesh and all these counties. So we'll only get the Kingdom of Valencia. Only. Only. That, that's quite a lot. Um, then we have Andalusia, as I've already said. And they have an ally, and that ally is our son, which is a problem. So that's, on the other hand, the thing, right? Um, then we have Murcia. Murcia, we would really like to attack Murcia, but there's a problem. <laughs> there's a big, big, big army problem, because King Arnul of Galicia is behind Murcia. So then we have you can see Valencia is in a combat against leader Tahir of the populist uprising in the Barani, Sashir, and so on. And they're mostly down here. And the thing is, now if we, if we make these moves very early on, then there's a lot of time for our um, brothers to forgive us. That's the other thing. As long as they're kids, it's not so critical. 
And if we don't do it, then probably Astorius will do it. Or Galicia will do it. They're already making their moves on Andalusia with, with the alliance. And then they will attack Valencia, probably. So we can see um, what claims they have. As you can see, Andalusia, Valencia. Then the king of Asturias has County of Avila, County of Valladolid. They're in here somewhere. So that's also a danger. We might have no choice but to attack. We like our brothers, but... Yeah. <laughs> that's our claims. That would be big. That would be big. And then we could attack Andalusia after that. That would be good for us. So we, because of the dream of an empire, and we could also say that when we reach the empire, then, because when we get Valencia here, then Andalusia, then we have three kingdom titles. And De Jure, if we found a new empire, we need 80 here. We're pretty optimistic we get these kingdoms and then realm size 80. Still young. If we can man manage our stress well, we'll be able to do it. So that's our motivation to go for this. We, we don't want to hurt them, but we want their kingdoms. Um, the question is that, is that really going for us, I mean, we're compassionate. We, we understand them. We don't really want to hurt them, but we want their kingdoms because we're stubborn. We we just want want the empire. Because we're a brilliant strategist, and that's basically the dream of a brilliant strategist is to have a big empire through means of war. And so we have to declare now because the later we do it, the less big our chances. And as you can see, we pay not a lot for that, which means it's relatively okay from the feeling. We couldn't attack Asturias or Galicia. They are way too strong for us. So it's time. It's the war of brothers. And as you can see, our brother is kind of okay with that. Declared war 25 only. So we're on and we'll call our friend uh, Prince Adolfonso, maybe, uh, of Asturias, maybe. We don't, we don't really need to call him. <laughs> it will not be effective. We can call in house members because we're the house head. And maybe we want some of them. Pelayo is relatively strong. We want him. Um, the king of Andalusia would be perfidious to, to call him in. But we might, because otherwise um, he might be called in from the other side. So we need to be first to call him in. Then um, that should be enough. We have a rally point here. We will raise all of our people here. And of course, all of our men at arms, too. They're all unraised for now. They will be raised now. That is our big plus. So here we go. It's a harsh decision, but it's a necessary decision. Otherwise, we have no chance to do that. Yeah, fear the men of Andalusia. Little did you know. Fear the man of Seville. Yes, yes. So they don't have a big army. There's another enemy army here, Alacant and Fraga. That's a hostile army. But that's also a hostile army, but we don't really see the enemy army. Um, don't really know where it is. We'll split this army up. To 
two armies with a, a phenomenal man here, Count Xerardu. And um, we have the other army under his control, 23. And we can test out if we can maybe do it ourselves. It will surely be one of the knights. Yeah, we're at an activity already also. I think we're still counting as being uh, in a pilgrimage or something. So here we go. Yeah, we're returning. We're just returning and we've started that. Basically on the way in we've alerted our allies. We can, we can host an exotic feast. Uh, the question is, though, we will not lose stress because we're shy, so... Hmm. It will also be a little bit higher cost, but yeah... We just have to do it. Like that. As you can see, they're fighting each other. That's okay for us. We're sieging here. Fort in Malagon and in Ucles. Knights Hospitalier have been called in. Thibaut de Rushi has a claim on the county. A notable guest. County of Venassin. Hmm. <laughs> That's not the main thing about him. The main thing about him is his prowess. He's Herculean too. <laughs> he has a wife. I mean, if we can somehow recruit him one day... We'll do that but it's just way too expensive for now it's way way too expensive these are the armies of our friends i think they are taking on these castles have a look around there is the enemy army they're just taking back um, valencia from the populist uprisings so estranged authority of late, my courtiers seem to avoid me at all costs. I hear whispers that they think me too impersonal, too distant. That just means that I rule with a firm hand. It doesn't mean that I'm a monster, does it? Hmm. We could become reclusive. Um, or irritable. Yeah. Reclusive would help us a bit. Irritable um, would give us more dread gain and prowess. Attraction opinion would go... Uh, and we could release our anger, but we gain high blood pressure. Severe penalty. We can maybe count that. All in all, irritable is better because we can uh, we can release our anger from time to time. Then, when we need something like that, so we'll become irritable. There's no other choice. Damnable ingrates. So let's see. We are we have high blood pressure at the moment, and we're irritable. We can release our anger, and we have more dread. And we also have more prowess, which will, on the other hand, help us with us being a knight. Brings our stress down a, a little bit. A little bit. Our grandeur is rising. And we, we have, well, we have that. We just have that problem. Look at, whoa, look at that. That's the populist uprising. Wow. It's going everywhere. It has won, apparently. So things are not going that well for Valencia. Our army's here. We'll see that we can win that pretty quickly and then squash the populist uprising. Um, let's see. Oh! Is that this Sibi? We'll go to Alarthon. Alarcon. 
there's a duchy of Seville, and it's whew, it's separate now. It's oh, it's yeah, it's in the so they've declared themselves in no, they are under under Galicia. Okay, they're a Galician one. All right. Queen Aldonza has been swayed, and we can now try again, I hope, to um, romance her. If that's possible, so let's see. I'll stop that. Because we really need, we really need someone. Hmm made her disdain for you clear enough already let's see um how long is that is that holding up repulsed by advances yeah she doesn't really like us she doesn't it's just the way she doesn't like us at all so we're that's an extra an extra stress level here for us and we'll just we're left alone here. We're in some kind of... Maybe we'll become someone obsessed with strategy. Look at Asturias. There's something going on in Asturias. What's going on there? Duchess Maria in Seth of Castile. Wow, she's not really good. <laughs> she's really bad, apparently, but... Hey, what can you do? Mercy for the mercenaries. The bustling of an inn, a fine cider, a calm evening. After a long day of training, my tankard is knocked out of my hand by a mercenary, reeling from a blow, and all hope of relaxation drains away into the floor, along with my cider. Please, my lord, the innkeeper begs. Diego's thugs have been drinking me dry without paying for days, and their fighting is scaring the stuff and guests. Diego. Hmm. Soldiers, throw them out. That would be what we could gain. We could pay generously to mercenaries. We, we don't want that. Expunged bandits. Or we could go ourselves. But that would stress us out. No, we, we must avoid the stress. As much as we would like to do that, we call the soldiers to throw them out. We have already high blood pressure, so we're feeling really bad. We're on a mission. And that mission is going perfectly. Hmm. Courtship, chivalric dominance. Yeah. Now maybe we could serve the crown. That would help us in that position a lot. So. Natural dread and a little bit more. Look, we've just taken that over. So we can go over here and take more on. Populist uprising here. What's going on there? They're getting beaten again and again. In the heat of combat, decis decisiveness is often what separates victory from defeat. When the time comes, I know how I will act. I think it's very irritable. I'll strike and never relent. I mean, we could take our anger out there. I'll stand my ground. I remain alert, acting as the given situation requires. We could be flexible, but that opposes ours, us being stubborn. Stand my ground. That would fit stubborn very well, right? Or become an aggressive attacker. I think that leads to more casualties on the other side. But we'll stand our ground. We're just stubborn here. We're an unyielding defender. And we have an advantage. I'll stand my ground. Maybe it's it's just 
time for us to lead ourselves. It's, it's fitting for a king. We'll go to the capital and siege that. We'll soon be ready to do that and then... Then we'll see. They are also doing something. Our culture has discovered public works. Nice. Let's let's have a look at our culture. Uh, Duchess Maria Inesis of Castile is our culture head for some strange reason. And we've discovered public works. So where is... Where are the public works? Oh, this means we have progressed, right? Here we go. So public works. Um, counties now reach the maximum existing de development penalty at 20 development only. Okay, we have increased that. And now we're in early medieval and where will we go? We'll see what she chooses. It's, it's not that important though. They're ravaging this, this realm might take it back we might we will we will give our brothers some some stuff back occupied quenza go to teruel our counselor chill drank himself to death oh no he was just 51 come on everyone in this court is under high stress i'm under the impression look at infante ramon is not our marshal, but he would be a possible chancellor. Yeah, uncle. That would be good to have you here. And they're coming back here and will try to fight us. It might already be too late for them. Um, Xerardu will take over and attack them. He's leading this army. Duke Lorien, okay. A brewing troublemaker. Well, I have some. I've come to expect mischief from my son and heir, Infante Christian. His creativity keeps me on my toes. When it is not a prank, it's a brawl, a disgruntled tutor, or grazed knees from an adventure gone wrong. <laughs> ah, well. The little rowdy. Never a dull moment. Yeah, look at him. Perfect education for him. Nice, nice, nice. We'll understand each other well. He's all, already a very powerful man. <laughs> we'll get Valencia. We won't even have to fight. Here we go. We captured someone. Who is that? Adelo Brandino and his friend Blanca. Okay. Well, brother. Greetings, my liege. Yes, hello there. Infante, our half-brother and vassal now. <clears throat> and now, these guys are our problem. You are the new target of the Holy War for the Duchy of Marrakesh. The duchy, uh, the holy war for the duchy of Marrakesh has just begun. We'll order our troops to go over there uh, as quickly as we can. Collect ourselves here, or maybe in, in Tangier, here, yeah. the city of Albazra. We'll hurry over there, you two. Maybe you'll go to the bishopric. We've won that. Asturias is still extraordinarily big because they have incorporated the duty of Murcia into their realm. And so you can see that they are extremely powerful now. We need to finish that. We became the head of Astor-Leonese culture now, thankfully. And now we can choose the fascination that we have. Uh, let's see. Innovation. What do we want? Bourgs. They want Bourgs. Um, medieval era military buildings. Okay, we could have battlements, fortification buildings. 
Mangle Mills. Special Man at Arms, Household Soldiers, Arced Saddle. Yeah, that would be even better military things. Hereditary Rule. Can enact the Petition Law. That would be important. The Reconquista is maybe something to our heart, right? It's the regional thing. It's absolutely the thing to do for us from a role play, uh perspective. We'll definitely do that. The Reconquista. We'll focus on the Reconquista. See what we can do. Can we go for a hunt? Not until two years. Two years. Okay. Uh, the question is, can we take out our anger, lash out? We're in an army currently. That's why we cannot lash out. But we would really like to lash out. So maybe we should force ourselves out of an army. So we'll send our brother in. Half brother, no, our uncle. Uh, we'll look at the knights, so we'll get out of this. Are we out of this now? Well, currently. But we still need to manage our knights, so it's a good opportunity. There's always the thing that we want some people not to be our knights, like up until. Um, Strength six, that's that doesn't make any sense. We should be able to lash out now and calm our mind. We insult a random vassal and gain lashing out for one year. Hey, hey, you! Who will it be? <laughs> Duke Poncio. <laughs> as soon as my vassals are seated and Duke Poncio starts talking, I smile awkwardly. Duke Poncio, sorry to interrupt. Uh, why, why are you always such a vile knave? And you, Count Boson, were you born a churl or did that develop later in life? And you, I don't think, I uh, don't think I don't see you. God, he, he doesn't like it, but... <laughs> That's the way we take it out. We're no longer overwhelmed by stress for now. Just the way we need to do it. And these guys <laughs> they need to they need to do that again. Okay, we can hold an exotic feast. And uh, now it's time to get into the battle again. Uh, which means once we've arrived, we'll lead one of the armies. But most probably, look, they have they have pretty good equipment. So we'll need to go in with two armies. Their commander is Dalinaqueda. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. They're not that great leaders. That holding is in there. We need to unite. We need to unite. That's just the way. We're getting in here. No, we need to unite and then we need to fight. That's going over there. And we need to go in. Um, yeah, we personally need to go in. Us. We'll send Ramon in first and then we'll add to that. So we're the supported, supportive get general. Army of Talavera. Get in here, you get in here as well, in the mountains. It's our mountains, thankfully, so we have a big advantage here. Because we're defending in desert mountains. We don't have that many knights, but Ensat's troop is coming. And here we go. We have pikemen, which are very good in, in, in mountains, but yeah, the horsemen, the armored footmen, kind of not that great. Uh, let's see. Mm. Getting in here. What's that? We don't know. The fight is coming. Faction against us. The uh, yeah, the, 
the populists again. Our knight Favida de Cantabria wounded Shaikh Uguistan. Nice. Oh, Knight Count Bosen killed someone. Nice, nice, nice. Good. So we'll go ourselves to Asfi, to the barony of Asfi. The others will hang around here in Mrira. Just wait. We can ask our head of faith for gold. We'll do that. Prisoners can be ransomed. Count Vela of Ucleth, a prisoner and rival. Uh, how about this guy? Neighboring ruler, evil lackey, our rival. What could we do with him? We could torture him. What would that help us? Nothing, because we're compassionate. We will not torture him. We could revoke his title, but he's not our direct vassal. Mm. He's our rival, which means if he dies, that would help us. Even if we're compassionate, because he's not related to us. His heir is Duke Favilla Marqueses of Mallorca, who is not our rival. We can move him to the dungeon. But that would anger his close family. And it would stress us a lot. So we'll just leave him to rot there for now. And we've been given some gold for our combat here. We need to look at the combat here. Duke Munio of Tlemcen is our vassal, and he's probably losing that war against Countess Goto Estebanes. Wow. She's, she seems to be crazy good. Well, okay, we'll see. We'll see. We don't have to interfere there. But we have to look in at Andal Andalusia, so... We like King Rodrigo a lot. Why Why is that? He, ah, yeah, he's contributing in one of our wars. Yeah, we cannot really attack him then. Maybe should we should try to get an alliance with him. At least that. So maybe we should arrange a marriage with... A half sister and one of his no. How about our heir and no? <laughs> There's no one we can lead an alliance to. Hmm. Can we maybe sway? No, he's a he's a child. Uh, it's harsh. It's it's a strange time. We'll go next to that. Hybrid culture formed, yeah. Let's have a look at the... Yeah! We had a good war there. A good battle, I mean. Portugal is relatively big, and now now we also got Menorca. Look at that. At least we got that, right? <laughs> Duke Favilla. We don't like him, he doesn't like us, but we tolerate each other. We can sponsor an inspiration. The skill is legendary. She wants to go to the Eastern Steppe. Legendary. Will she die, though? But health is fine. She's still young. Disfigured. Okay, sure, we'll sponsor your inspiration, whatever you find in that step. With your legendary skill, we hope you'll get it. Maybe there's something there that will release our stress. <gasps> Look at that. There's a lot coming in. A whole lot. We need to pause, we need to have a look. Lady Guyomar's lover, nah, we need, we need to see if we can flee from here. That would be terrible. 
That would be possible. We'll stay here. We'll go to Fuzz Fuzz and unite. I receive a message from my adventurer with words embellished so I can see her in her theater of my mind. Uh, my lord, on my travels I stayed at a farm attended to by Osorio. That guy. A beautiful man and evil observer, cautious leader, misguided warrior. I am in love, and I would take a week of watching him shovel horse dung over any banquet at court. I cannot walk away from this farm, knowing I may never kiss him again. Oh my goodness me. Either he travels to you and joins your court, or my journey ends here. I shall permit it, but blame me not for the scandal. <laughs> <sighs> okay. He can shovel horse dung at us. Greetings, cousin. What? The Infante of Galicia is now heading for our kingdom. Rally the troops. <sighs> Um, we'll call in all house members. Just everyone. What a war that is. It's the craziest war. Duchy of Sabine. Alphonse of Tarragona. And Gundimaru of Avero. And our ally, Prince Alfonso, I don't care, we'll, we'll call him in on that war as well. Count Vela, our battle. Hmm. Pff, he'll be our knight. And he'll finance our war. It's a crazy war we're in. How about the Holy War? Can we end this on a white peace? They will not accept. What will we do if we surrender? They'll get the Duchy of Marrakesh, I think. All territory to that is um, part of the Duchy of Marrakesh. That, that, that. Alethea's big. Galicia's big. These troops are from Kairuan and Umgrain. Infante Joao Leonores of Galicia. Okay. Um... They're pretty strong. They're going in here. If we can match them there, we'll be in an extremely good position. County of Badajoz. Oh, that was him. It's not cold Galicia, it's just Badajoz. Okay. <laughs> that is That feels a little bit better, you know. That feels a little bit better still. It's good that we alerted everyone. I think we can do both wars. But we're again under a lot of stress. Let's see if we can lash out again. No. 
<laughs> Only in two years. Hmm. And can't call for a hunt next year. Ah, the dream. Let's <laughs> do the Holy Roman Empire. No, no, no. That would need Germany. There will, will be a lot to do in the future. And the look we have. Yeah. The look we have is typical. We have high blood pressure for th another three years. We're feeling fine. We're stubborn and have exotic food that will help us. We're an excellent knight. Our heir is doing very fine. Look at him. He's he's the strongest dwarf you can. Well, he's not strong, but he has he has an understanding. He has an understanding of strategy that is unparalleled. At at his age of four, he already beats some of our vassals in chess. Now that, that's. We could call him Magnus Carlsen Christian Aldol Aldon says of Portugal even. Ha <sighs> Well, it's a hard time we have, but it's an interesting time. And we'll push through. Look at us, looking determined and angry. We'll do it. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Kahn signing out. See you soon and happy gaming. For Portugal!